And we're back down at Royal Melbourne with Mel's Mr Golf, Bruce Green. Welcome to the show, Bruce. Thank you, Sam. Nice to be here. Terrific. And we've also got young Monique. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, what we're going to look at today is a junior girls lesson. Bruce, I know you've been working with Monique from about the start of the year. And what we'd like to do is see Monique hit a few shots and then we're going to get an impression of what you've been working on with her. Certainly. Let's see some shots, Monique. Okay, Monique. Let's go. Lovely crisp ball strike and a nice little soft draw there. Let's see another one. I must say she hits the ball better than I did at uh, her age. Great strike again. Now Bruce, if uh, we could get you to talk uh, through some of the process that you've been through um, in changing Monique's swing. Certainly Sam. What we did when Monique first came, she would roll her wrists open and open up the club face 40, 50 degrees. Lovely rhythm. She'd come down and close the club face up and send the ball out there. But more often than not, we either had a big draw or quite a fade. Every now and again, there'd be a lovely straight shot. But it was too hard, and it is too hard to expect with that much movement of the club face that you can consistently get the ball solid and square coming off the club face. So what we've done is we've tried to get her to take the club away more in a one piece, try and keep everything together, not allow it to get away from us. In doing so, we've also worked on correcting the body because when we throw the club face open and we come down and close the club face, she would tend to put her body forward well ahead of her hands to protect a hook and every now and again, she'd slide forward, the hands would come over, and it would end up being a big hook. So with that, what we try to do is really restrict the body so that there's a nice tight turn and a nice tight follow through. Whereas when we started out, we get to here, club face open, we drop it underneath here, the body would bend, and then we would flick the wrists and a variation of shots. Monique, let's see a couple more and we'll, we'll just demonstrate that again. And that's a beautiful swing, lovely swing. Okay, you can see there, Sam, at the top of the golf swing, you just take the club back for me, Monique, thank you. That position we've got at the top of the swing looks really nice, the wrists are in a good semi-flat position, the club face nice and square at the top. All she needs to do is keep her body turning and when she comes down, that club face is now square. Before, she would get up to here, club face open, hips would move forward that way, hands forward, club face open, or a correction here. So we've tightened it up a lot as we can see. Come on in, Sam. Um, terrific work that you've been doing with uh, young Monique there, Bruce. And I think um, one important aspect that I noticed was that even at her young age, you were already thinking about how to protect her back uh, for the future and put her in good, solid positions. Sure, well, that's what we're working on. I mean, she's already a very good player. But to go up to another level and another level, she needs to strengthen up her body in certain areas. Her stomach muscles, her legs got to get stronger. She's got to get stronger and firmer in the wrists. So we can get to a stage where uh, she's not under pressure trying to hit the ball through lack of power, lack of body strength. Okay. So it is yeah. important, the back muscles right through here, but she's starting to work on those over the next few weeks. Terrific. Now, Monique, I must say, your swing looked great. I think your parents you. may uh, be able to look at retiring early uh, with a swing like that. Um, for, for a lot of the parents that are actually out there, Bruce, watching, um, and junior golfers, what, what sort of things do they have to do with their juniors to make sure they're started on the right track? Well, the first thing they need is to take them and get some coaching. If you get them coached, probably four or five lessons over a six month period, don't flood them with lessons. Young kids can only take a little bit at a time, but they are impressionable and they can learn very, very quickly. And they, you'd rather them learn now than wait till they're older and then have to have 100 lessons and never be able to get rid of a fault. Mm. So if they start them out, have the lessons when they're young, then it puts them on the right track. Like Monique, she's had her lessons when she was young. She has a fantastic golf swing. She never has to go through the pains of change like some 
kids would have to do. Absolutely. Fantastic advice. Thanks for being on the show, Monique. Thank you. Thank you once again, Mr Green. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, Monique. Thank Terrific. You. And we hope that that helps you, all your juniors out there, and parents of juniors, in guiding them in the right direction.